Hi Taurus, it is Saturday, December 2nd, 2023, and it's time for our daily get-together. Spirits, what do Taurus need to know at the time they're viewing this reading? What do they need to know? What does Taurus need to know right now at the time they're viewing this video? Taurus, what do you need to know? Okay, the first card you've got is the Page of Wands. This could be a messenger. Let's see what's going on here, Taurus. And then you have the Four of Pentacles. And the Three of Wands. The Magician. The Five of Pentacles in the center of your reading. And then you have the Eight of Pentacles. And the Knight of Cups. Okay, the Six of Swords, and the Ten of Wands is in reverse, and then you have the Chariot Cancer energy, and you have the Four of Cups. I don't think you're happy in a certain situation here, Taurus. I don't know what situation it is, but you don't look too you don't look too happy. All right, you have the four of cups here and the chariot. These sphinxes are facing two different directions. And so there are some things that you need to get together to in order to move forward. There's something here that you're waiting for. Tell me why the Page of Wands is here. Why is the Page of Wands here? The Ace of Swords. You're going to be receiving... Well, someone could have told you this already. But there's someone here that... Let me just say the timeline could be a little bit off. This could have happened or this is to come. But I feel like there's someone here that's really, really up in their head about you, Taurus. This might be a water sign, a Pisces Cancer, or a Scorpio. This person is showing me they have love for you. And this person wants to talk to you. But I feel like you is the Page of Wands. are trying to come up with, with a plan. And I don't know, I kind of get the, the idea that this person's up in their mind wondering what is going on. This could be something at work. It doesn't have to be. That this could be love because I have the King of Cups. So it's going to be different for all of you. But I keep seeing a new plan. But I feel like someone doesn't have enough money. That's not for everyone. But someone doesn't have enough money. Um, why is the Four of Pentacles here? There's this energy of you being afraid to stand up. And walk away from something. You're holding back. Because you need to get some things in order here. Tell me why the Four of Pentacles is here. Six of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups. And the Seven of Swords. Hmm. I 
keep seeing love here. It's like there's there's new love in your energy. This could be new love for some of you. It's the Ace of Cups. But I feel like you're giving to two different energies. And you're, you're kind of holding back from one. There's one person over here that this person wants to talk to you. This person right here. But your your focus is on someone over here that you're giving to. And then you have the Seven of Swords here. So I feel like you're keeping something to yourself. Let me look more into the Seven of Swords because this is... This is like you're not really wanting to say something. Tell me why the Seven of Swords is here. The Five of Cups. You could feel bad about saying something to someone, all right? Because you you know it's going to hurt their feelings, and so you may be holding back. And um, this person, they're they're growing impatient here. You have the Knight of Swords and you have the Five of Swords. So this person, you don't see it yet, but this is someone that wants to charge in and have a conversation with you. But I shouldn't say you don't see it yet because for some of you, this, this has already taken place. And then you have the Three of Wands. So you're waiting for something. Um, something has to come together. You've got to get these sphinxes lined up in order to take off moving. And when you do, you're going to move very quickly. That is the fastest moving energy in the tarot deck. And you're showing me the energy here of a king of wands, not taking no for an answer. You want what you want, and it's very, you're praying for it. All right? You're praying to be able to go and stop waiting. I feel like something here is inevitable, and you're trying to delay it. I don't know if that's the right word. It's like, this is going to hurt, all right? You have three swords over you, and there's there's two people that you're giving to, and I feel like you're worried about these three swords falling. You're protecting yourself. You have one sword laying right here beside you. So, um, having, having to get some things done, some things finished that you're carrying around is coming into your energy. It's in reverse. There's something that you're carrying around and you're determined to make it to your destination. Something has to be done before you can set these down. Like this, upside down, reverse, it's over. And your energy is showing the magician. You're trying to manifest something, Taurus. Why is the magician here? But you feel stuck. The two of swords is here. You feel stuck. These swords are your thoughts, your mind, your arms are crossed over your chest, protecting yourself, protecting your heart. And again, look at the hanged man in between these two energies. The hanged man is Pisces energy, but this is you. It's like you feel like you're making some type of sacrifice to make someone here happy right here. But then on the other hand, you've got another energy right here, the Page of Cups. This one could be a younger energy. One of these could be a younger energy. It could even be a child. But you're feeling stuck in the middle. And then you have the Five of Pentacles right here in the center of your reading. You've, you've got someone here on crutches following you. 
depending on you. Someone in your energy could be not feeling well, could be ill. With the Four of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? And someone's feeling like, I just don't have enough money. Yeah, see the devil, there's codependency or someone has an addiction. This is Capricorn energy, the devil. And the wheel of fortune in the world. Some type of a cycle, an addiction, or karma is coming to an end. You have the world next to the wheel of fortune. Some, some type of feeling stuck in a situation where you could feel a lack of money, you could feel left out in the cold, it's something toxic, all right? This is coming to a completion. It's You're cutting ties with the devil. You're See the two people on the bottom of the card? You're going to take the chain off your neck and you're going to walk away. This is just an illusion. That's why the magician was there. This is possibly like a manipulation of a situation here but this is coming to an end it's come full circle with the world it's over it's done and it's time now it's destiny that there's like some type maybe this is a past life debt there's some type of deal here with this devil that is coming to an end. It's over. It's done. And I'm seeing you being able to get to work. And where there's actually. You're starting from the bottom up. And working your way up. You're starting from the bottom. Working your way up. And you can see your pentacles here. Start to move. Tell me why the eight of pentacles is here. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Yeah, look at this, Taurus. There's an ending of some type of karmic cycle. This is Scorpio energy, but something really, really good is going to happen here. You have the Ten of Pentacles and you have the Nine of Pentacles. This is uh, something that you're doing alone. Some type of work that you're doing alone. Some type of an achievement that you're going to feel really good about. And you're you're going to... You've, you've actually found your place in life. The place you belong. And releasing the devil. And I, I love it. Because this is huge financial gain. Stability. Let's look into the future, Taurus. Because you have the Knight of Cups, the Six of Swords, and releasing those burdens. Why is the Knight of Cups here? The Devil. There's not the Devil. Death. There is an ending of you giving, emotionally giving to a certain situation here that is toxic. Which is the devil energy. It's coming to an end. And then you have the king of cups. Why is this king of cups here? Spirits, tell me about this king of cups. The five of cups. There's definitely still love here with something, with someone, Taurus, that, you, that you've been giving to, but it's coming to an end. And I see this person feeling a lot of regret, sadness and regret, but staying still, staying in their, their you know, keeping in their emotions to themselves and watching you move away. 
Tell me why Six of Swords is here. The Knight of Wands is in reverse. The Ace of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. There's someone, there's someone here that's holding back from contacting you or something here. And I'm seeing a new, an ace, ace of wands, something new and exciting coming into the future energy here. And the four of pentacles is here. So you're holding on to this new energy and you're not running around chasing anything anymore. All right. You're moving into the new. And this is a new beginning. The Ten of Wands is over. Something that you've been carrying around where you felt stuck, it's coming to an end. See, look, the world is even on the bottom of the deck. When you're doing this, you're determined not to put the, these wands down. Because you've got a job to do, you're going to do it. This is in reverse. You're dropping it off now. Even the Knight of Wands has a job to do. This is in reverse. You're not doing that job anymore. Tell me why the Ten of Wands is in reverse. You're not doing that job anymore because I'm seeing some, someone here, it's like you're working really hard here, Taurus, when this is upright, you're letting it go because someone here is breadcrumbing you and it could be financially, it doesn't have to be, but there's someone here breadcrumbing you. And this is someone who likes to ride high on the horse. This is someone who likes to be recognized. Tell me why the seven, the six of wands is here. You're going to have an epiphany moment, a realization, Taurus, um, which some of you already have had. But there's something here that you're doing in your life <coughs> that's going to be a huge success. It's almost like you're learning something and um, this something that you're learning is showing up as wand energy like this is exciting to you. It, it feels like, it feels like it's right. It feels like this is placing you in the energy of where you're supposed to be at at this time in your life. And, um, I'm seeing you having an epiphany moment with whatever this thing is that you're learning, that you're looking at here. You're having an epiphany moment that this is easier than what you thought it was. There's some type of understanding that you're coming to. Yeah, a decision here. Strength. I just see it's it's like you're holding back and resisting breaking someone's heart, I feel like for some of you. Why is the chariot here? And so you're carrying some type of burden here until it can be put down. It's almost like there's a destination of where you can put this down. <coughs> Very fast, second mo fastest moving energy. Very, very fast energy of you moving, maybe physically moving, but you're getting the heck out of here. You're not happy. Why is the Four of Cups here? 
someone's like saving up money. Yeah, I'm seeing you, um, it's like with the Two of Swords and the Queen of Swords, if someone says something to you in this Queen of Swords energy, you were, you know, you'll listen to them, but you're not involving your heart in this situation anymore. You're not happy. I can see that. And you're moving, you're taking the necessary slow steps because slow but steady wins the race. The Knight of Pentacles is here towards what your manifestation is. You know, you're not rushing into anything here. There's a fight you can't win. You're feeling stuck. But again, I'm seeing like some type of soul contract with, with someone here. Taurus that I feel like you're involved with where you can't just get up and and walk away there's something I don't know something here that you're wanting to get away from but <clears throat> I'm seeing you being able to do it here very soon Taurus this destination you're trying to get to Dropping these burdens, dropping this weight is already showing up in your energy right now. Let's get some advice from the universe. Spirit's advice for Taurus. What does Taurus need to know? You have last quarter moon in Aquarius reflect on your priorities and first quarter moon in Gemini Gemini speak your world into being and um, choose your angel answer cards number one number two or number three Taurus so let's go number one, number two, number three. All right, and ask your angels a question out loud if you're able to and choose as many cards as you like. All right, if you chose number one, Taurus, you have opportunity. Look at the gold falling down on you. Your arms up in the air. If you chose number two, forgiveness. And if you choose number three, unlikely. All right, Taurus, these are the messages that came through. I hope they help you to see the bigger picture. Thank you guys for all of your beautiful comments. Thank you for your donations. Um, thank you um, to my fellow Jay, Janine, um, for the new microphone. Thank you guys for everything. And um, take care of you today, Taurus. And I will see you tomorrow. Namaste. I will be getting a new microphone in a couple days, you guys. I apologize if this, if the volume isn't really great. But um, I've got one on its way. I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow, Taurus. Namaste.